Hi, welcome to another video. So, as I just created a video a bit back about Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, when it was not released, but now that it's out, I want to talk a bit more about what it brings to the table and what's new here. They have launched two things, Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Claude Code. They say that Claude 3.7 Sonnet is their most intelligent model to date and the first hybrid reasoning model on the market. Claude 3.7 Sonnet can produce near-instant responses or extended, step-by-step -step thinking that is made visible to the user. API users also have fine-grained control over how long the model can think. They say that it shows particularly strong improvements in coding and front-end web development. That's why they are also launching their own new coding tool called Claude Code. It's under research preview as of now, but it will be generally available soon. They say that Claude Code is available as a limited research preview and enables developers to delegate substantial engineering tasks to Claude directly from their terminal. The model is available on all plans, including free, pro, team, and enterprise. One bummer is that it still costs the same as before, and if you make it do the thinking, then the thinking tokens will also be added. So, that's a big bummer. Almost as expensive as O1, I believe. They say that Claude 3.7 Sonnet is both an ordinary LLM and a reasoning model in one. You can pick when you want the model to answer normally and when you want it to think longer before answering. In the standard mode, Claude 3.7 Sonnet represents an upgraded version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. In extended thinking mode, it self-reflects before answering, which improves its performance on math, physics, instruction following, coding, and many other tasks. We generally find that prompting for the model works similarly in both modes. Second, when using Claude 3.7 Sonnet through the API, users can also control budget for thinking. You can tell Claude to think for no more than n tokens, for any value of n up to its output limit of 128k tokens. This allows you to trade off speed and cost for the quality of the answer. Third, in developing our reasoning models, we've optimized somewhat less for math and computer science competition problems, and instead shifted focus towards real-world tasks that better reflect how businesses actually use LLMs. In software engineering, or on SWE Bench, it beats O1 and O3 by a wide margin. I think it beats Grok as well. In agentic tool use, it's also quite great. Claude Code is basically similar to every other one. It appears to be a terminal-based tool as of now. So, it is like Ader for most cases. You can use it on their chat interface and API right now. It might take a few more minutes as it's getting rolled out, and it's also available on the free tier. That's all that they have launched. I'll put out some crazy videos with it. So, stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.